Good evening! Tonight's current affairs presentation is brought to you by the misinformation under management news team editorial department. Lovingly and vigilantly establishing the news so that you don't have to since 2022. Our top story tonight. Elon Musk has not bought Twitter. Having not bought any shares in the social media giant and not made an offer to purchase it outright for $44 billion, the board of directors did not attempt to subvert the deal just as they never, they never even thought of endeavouring to subvert hot democracy. There is no poison pill. There never was a poison pill. There is no such thing as the poison pill. Unless you're talking about that horse dewormer thing that we definitely are allowed to mention. Musk, who plans to poison the world with cocaine, is not a legitimate businessman and not a philanthropist and not a pioneering environmentalist, does not plan to re restore free speech to Twitter, since Twitter has never had an issue with free speech. Twitter has never engaged in censorship and has always been a beacon of open and free expression. God, that one hurt. Oh. There has been no... There has been no unbanning or de-throttling mysteriously happening on Twitter in the past few days because there was never any throttling happening on Twitter. Except, of course, for the ongoing social, uh, cultural suffocation of the voices of black people and trans people and gay people and women and Saudi princes and BlackRock. These innocent victims uh, continue to be marginalised and shadow banned in all forms of media. And that is Elon Musk's fault. But, 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 but not because he's purchased anything, which he hasn't. It's still the, 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 the board of directors whose fault it, it isn't. But it, it still, I'm being told to move on. I'm going to move on. Uh, 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 Twitter doesn't exist. Folks, <laughs> it, it went completely bankrupt this morning and disappeared from history forever. There is no such thing as Twitter. It is a conspiracy theory. In the meantime, Netflix continues to go from strength to strength in their righteous battle against s sexist, racist persons of the wrong race and sex. Their the, the heroic biopics about nubile young dancing girls fighting the good fight against transphobes or whatever are more popular than ever. Netflix controls more wealth and power than they ever have before. And this is a good thing. You definitely can trust them with your daughters. Or your sons. Whatever they happen to be at the time. But this is nothing. This is nothing compared with the roaring success of CNN+. Plus, Which having accrued 81 million platinum tier subscribers in the first nanosecond of its existence has become the literal most popular information technology medium in the history of the multiverse. As of tomorrow, it will become so popular that it will transcend the material world and, uh, and will be rendered invisible to everyone but the gods themselves. Yeah, and only the gods who are good at their jobs. The Emperor is wearing clothes! How dare you for suggesting he is not? Stay right where you are. The ministry is on its way. Unless you live in Shanghai. In which case, you cannot possibly face any consequences from, 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 the, from the libertarian, laissez-faire Chinese government. I, I, I mean, our, our blessed government won't come for you either. Unless you're black, gay, or trans. But the Chinese government will love and embrace you if you are these things. Shanghai is not starving and imprisoning its citizens unless it absolutely needs to. And it and it does absolutely need to, but it still isn't. That's how awesome the Chinese government is. Everyone should move to China if we're allowed to. And we absolutely are allowed to. China loves everyone and welcomes everyone, especially foreigners. Those, those, those pervasive 
high-pitched loud human noises you hear echoing over the horizons of Shanghai. Why, that's merely the sound of the quaint urban winds of China as they sing in harmony in praise of the blacks and the gays. The, uh, the blacks and the gays should all move to China because God knows they're not safe in the West now that Elon Musk hasn't done anything. Never mind. In Sweden... Swedish people have, have been rioting against Muslims. I'm fine with my job. I'm fine with my life and my conscience. I am making the world a better place. Sweden needs more Muslims. And they need, and they need to implant microchips in everyone except the Muslims. If the Swedish Prime Minister tells you that multiculturalism is anything but a massive success, he is lying. She is like no, no, he is lying. Only men would misgender multiculturalism as a failure of any kind. And that's why Sweden is a living nightmare for women, because of men. The white, white men, white, you, 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 white men with, with a small W who, who are rioting against Muslim women because the world is no longer a safe place. Because of Elon Musk and, and, the, and the no particular thing that he's done recently. In the meantime, Rwanda... Oh, God, how... There are, there are not any illegal immigrants coming to Britain. But they are being sent to Rwanda. From... Not Britain. But black people! Black people are being deported from Britain just for being black and gay. Because Britain hates the blacks and the gays. And rather than sending them to China, where they would have a good life, they are being sent to Rwanda, which is a horrible... Uh, I think I'm having a stroke. People do not have strokes. Except children who are also not having strokes, but if they do, it's because of climate change. Feed your children plenty of wasps and beetles and you will save them from climate change. The government is not rolling out experimental gene altering injections to two month old children because that is completely absurd. If it does happen, you are forbidden from mentioning it because it is not happening. Speaking of people who are not having a stroke, Joe Biden. Or any of the kids in the pool stroking his legs. <laughs> right, so uh, Joe Biden, who is not a club. Dude, this is not a bad guy, all right? It's, 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 you, you know the thing. Joe Biden is, is, is not sending billions of dollars of American taxpayers' money. To his son! His son has never been to Ukraine. He doesn't know where it is or what it is, despite being the smartest man who ever lived. Hunter Biden does not have a laptop. Hunter Biden doesn't have three laptops, each more non existent than the last. I don't know if this is misinformation and disinformation. Both. Or either, whichever one works better on you. I sleep at night! I do not have night terrors! I do not fantasize about plucking my eyes out in despair. I am a good person. Amber Heard is a good person. She does not defecate on Yorkshire Terriers and then blame it on the bed. She, she gets her mega pints sliced open after being attacked with fingers flung across the room by Johnny Depp. Mega pints of fingers spiked with ungodly amounts of cocaine by Elon Musk, who has not done anything else. She does not have a borderline personality disorder. There's no such thing as borderline personality disorder, except in autistic people like Johnny Depp and Elon Musk, who do have borderline personality disorders because they're so autistic. Everything I've said here is true. And I could be murdered. By marauding gangs of right-wing thugs for saying it. If you challenge the uncontroversially true things I'm saying, 
You will not be arrested. You will join a marauding gang of straight white male conspiracy theorists who will digitally sexually assault me and get away with it. There are no communists. There is no eugenics program. There is no censorship. There is no government corruption. Unless and until we at the ministry tell you there is, in which case it's your fault, not mine. I can live with myself. For unquestioningly making excuses for this regime. I look at myself in the mirror and love what I see. And then I fall asleep at night to the sound of almost no screaming night terrors. This is a good person. For Munted News. Not Upside Down Land. Yes.